launches. Yeah, he don't want to go over a three X. He's determined about that. <laughs> yeah. At a certain point, whenever you say I need to, maybe I should get a four X. Then you're you're just admitting to yourself you're not going back. You're not going yeah. backwards. <laughs> See, I can wear something a little snug and be like, man, I need to work out. Well, I'm, what I'm saying is, don't wear it all the time. But when you, when you don't want to look like you're fat, then you just put that on so you know if it's if it's kind of kind of loose. George, loose you keep calling me fat. We're gonna have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can call myself fat. I don't need you helping me. I out. didn't say you was. I'm just trying to. I'm just saying, when you, if you don't want to look fat, you just gotta you gotta get a bigger shirt. I'm giving so you. Fits. I'm giving you a hard time, man. All right. <laughs> what is up everybody video addict here and i've got boxes boxes and boxes uh this right here is from still to real still to real is a monthly subscription box they have many tiers you can get like a basic little uh hundred dollar box then they have a quarterly box which is going to be about 3.99 now if you th figure it out you're probably thinking 3.99 that's ridiculous you're pretty much gonna get a lot of the stuff in the basic boxes in these quarterly boxes, so don't double up because you're probably gonna get a lot of the cool stuff in the bigger boxes. And with this, if you think about it, you're getting it every three months and you're getting bigger, higher end, higher quality stuff. So the price works out if you're gonna get a three month subscription to something, you're gonna pay 100 to $150 a month. So it's gonna work out in the end, you're gonna spend about the same, uh, but in the end, it really only matters what you think. If you're interested in this box after we get through opening it, which I hope you are, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, check out the description below. I got a discount code down there. Use it. Save yourself some cash. Let's just let's get let's get the the big problem out of the room. Jay killed my deer today. <laughs> he he, I, I didn't even want him here. He just he's still here, so he's gonna. I'm gonna let him stick around. I may not involve him much. He's just gonna stand there. That's uh, all I do anyway. <laughs> he actually talked a lot more on the video today. I'm like, oh, now you want to talk to people? Uh You'll see that video if you haven't seen it already. Um, it's a deer we've been hunting for three years. It was a beautiful deer. I'm super excited about it. I loved it. The fact that he got it, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed, but at the same time, I'm very happy for him. And like I've said, it was a group effort. I fed it. He shot it. So what's the difference? I put a little bit more work on that here than that. <laughs> he did. I mean... Whenever I say that, I'm talking about Jay helps me in my area. I help him in this area. He helps me hang stands. He helps me manicure it. He helps me trim. I mean, we put in the same amount of work, and that's why we – I can go to his area tomorrow or today if I wanted, and I can hunt there, and he's not going to give me two craps about it. So it's a group effort. It's what, it's what hunting is about, right? It's about being out here with your buddies, enjoying yourself, having a good time, and sharing these experiences so i highly recommend get outside people go out with your friends do some stuff hey you want to use my knife it still got blood on it but you need to get away from me i have i still i have something sharp in my hands <laughs> and we're still friends <laughs> all right so i'm super excited i feel bad because they've had a few shipping problems for some reason, something got crossed up, and some guy in Tennessee got two 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 rounds of these boxes shipped to him. They were like, "Well, good for him, I guess." Uh, I guess I had <coughs> a twin. They asked me if I had a twin in Tennessee. I was like, "Not that I know of." So I guess it got shipped out to some guy in Tennessee. All right, now, now you can. I know you're dying to use it. Don't cut the stuff inside, though. I'm not. All right. Ooh, Good Lord. this sucker is jam-packed. I already see something I really like. I know I'm gonna like this, okay? I have a ton of packs, we all know this. I have very few non-camouflage packs. So this right here is like an internal frame pack from Stansport. 
and it is a big beast. That is a true camping, hiking backpack. It's got a little cover over it, lots of pockets. I, I needed like just a general hiking pack. So I am super excited for this. It's got a frame, obviously, is what they're talking about. Good ventilation on the back, padding, uh, waist belt. I like it. Cool pack. That is a cool pack. It's very nice. It's got the ripstop material on it. Uh, you have a pocket in the front that you can just shove a little lightweight jacket or something in. I like the little quick access pocket on some on my packs. So I like that a lot. Egg carrier. This is for camping. Uh, you know, a lot of people, they carry their food and stuff. You can put your eggs. You don't have to carry a whole carton. You don't have to use the little uh, soft, spongy cases that they come in. This is like hard material. You don't have to worry about crushing your eggs. I don't have one, so I'm super excited to have it. Dang. It's for like cooking you do when this, you go camping. It's all the cooking that I do, period. I cook all the time. People just don't know it. Don't lie to the people. <laughs> you don't cook at all. I don't, I don't cook. <laughs> Even when we go camping, I'm the one that's cooking. All right, you have some camo uh, tape here. This is basically stuff that you can wrap your gun in. If you got like a shine or a gleam on your uh, gun, you want to wrap it up, take all that shine off and keep it camouflage. Good little item. And it's not sticky, sticky, so it's not going to leave any residue on your barrels and stuff like that whenever you peel it off. A schmog. If you don't know what a schmog is, go watch a YouTube video on it. I'm sure there's a thousand of them. Uh, it's basically just a big old handkerchief you can wrap around your head. Uh, very cool item. There's a lot of crap in here. <laughs> There's a lot of it, stuff. I don't mean crap. I mean like stuff, I guess is the word to put it. All right, we have a buff. A buff is used for many things. You can use it as a face shield. You can use it as a hair wrap. Uh, you can, when we're out doing our prep work during the summer months, you throw it and dip it down in some ice water, throw it around your neck, helps you stay cool moisture wickening, all that stuff. Uh, I actually really like this item. I will use the crap out of that. God, this could take forever. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Have to Maybe I do need to lose some weight, George. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Never drop or lose again your pliers again. That's very weird. That it's a, Never drop or lose your pliers again. Oh, I just, I, I said it wrong. So, you have a tether. I broke it. You broke the tether? No. Oh, I thought. I just broke the tag came off. Oh. So you just take this and you hook your pliers, this little lanyard onto it, pull it in, bam. So now, right here, if you, it's got a belt clip, boom. Let me get for fishing. Yeah. And actually, it's a nice pair of pliers. It actually is fishing pliers. Yeah. It's got a little line cutter here. That's pretty freaking awesome, actually. Dude, I like that a lot. I don't do a lot of fishing, but just in general. Dang, there's so much is stuff. A, is this a normal box? This is the three ninety nine box. You pay, it's a quarterly box. Uh -huh. So every three right. months, they're going to send you a box this size with this much stuff. But you're paying $399. It sounds like a whole lot, but... Look at this. Oh, I mean, the bag alone is probably $7,500. Yeah, it is definitely. I wish there was a packing list. And there may be one down in here. I just haven't gotten to it. There's too yet. much crap in here. Stuff. Uh, a five gallon solar shower. I have no idea how, how, how a solar shower works. I'm sure there's a panel on it and it heats the water somehow in the package. In the, well, the sun heats in the it thing. Up. It heats plastic up. Heats plastic up. The sun heats it up. So you're hanging up from the tree and it's. See, come here, George. Come here, get in the video, George. Come over come here. On in, George. Come over come here, on, George. Man. Just come. You don't have to get in the whole thing. Just come over here and say hi. Guys, this is George. He's one of our favorite people on the lease. He's a cool guy. Uh, he's one of the founding members out here. Yeah, founding members. Much, as far as he's, we know. <laughs> su he's super Cajun. Been here since 93. 93. Since 93. So he's been here. He comes up here from South Louisiana. So he drives up a long ways to come up here and hunt with us. But uh, his experience has told me that the sun heats it. <laughs> Normie time. I thought it was Normie used to do. What's that? In Normie, it's been having my best sitting in the sun. Oh, yeah. Tripods. You just go underneath of it and shower. Oh, the sun, yeah. It's plastic. I wonder how long it holds the heat in. 
I guess don't sing go down. <laughs> Good point. It only makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> All right, next up is from Off Grid Tools. This is the Tactical Flashlight. Uh, I've actually gotten this before, so I am gonna put this in a giveaway. They are very good lights. I mean, they get it done. I've just, I've, I've spent all my money on O lights, so I, I don't have a lot of use for this, but it is a good light. Next, you have a KOTU. KOTU uh, from Gear Aid. This is a very, very cool knife. Again, I have received this in a box before, but it is a good tactical. It attaches to Molly and whatnot. Uh, this one's black, so it would attach to some Molly and be real tactical. The Openel. This is a French uh, knife. It's actually probably one of the sharpest knives you'll ever buy, and it's $10 or something like that. It's really ridiculous how cheap it is, but this is actually a super awesome knife to have. Real simple wood handle kind of on the same line as in more knives. yeah like more knives. i mean this is just there's no frills to it it's not something you're gonna pry and do stuff with because it's a thin blade but i mean it is sharp if you want to like whittle some wood or something hey that thing will do it and it will cut you so uh i probably shouldn't have it but you know, you know camp mirrors camp mirrors are good we use them all the time we've got different sizes obviously and we use them in our deer stands to see behind us when we're working when we're looking one way we can look the other it's all good and dandy can't mirror this right here i received these in a box not too long ago uh there's two of them here one on each side i said then and i'll say it again i do like it but you shoot this thing with a shotgun it's done and that's 11.99 so you just paid 12 dollars to shoot a dang target and it's done one time one time shot you can get your little kid out there with a little 22 and they can plink i think that's a good idea i don't think that i would never buy this don't get me wrong we're gonna shoot it but three pack. yeah three still three oh there's pack. three of them in there there's one in the middle so thanks george appreciate you <laughs> George, the one with the worst white eyesight here, probably. And we, <laughs> <laughs> and they saw that. Anyway, like I said, I would never spend twelve bucks on it, but we will. Use, we, we're going to shoot it. It just—it's never ending. It's like you're—you got two thirds left. I know. Uh, disposable game cleaning gloves. We could have used these today, even though I got like ten pairs of them. We never decided to use them. Uh, it's kind of like one of those things. It's just like, why do why don't we use them? Yeah. I don't know. We have them. We don't use them. But Maybe for pigs. Yeah, pigs. They're really good. Really Zipper lubricant. For when you're... If it's a little jammed up, lube it up. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little lube. I don't know. <laughs> you you get it? All right. Here, we're going to have just a little... Algae mode. A little hot. What is it? Algene bottle. Algene bottle. Okay. I didn't. I don't. I didn't know the word for it. It's a water bottle. Uh, something you can fill it up with some ice and water, and you can stick it in your backpack, in a little side mesh pocket. Uh, here from Stansport. Also, you have a compass, plastic case, lensatic, lensatic compass. I am. I'm actually really good with directions. Jay is not. But Jay could probably read a compass before I could, because I have, he was in the Navy. I, I, I still am amazed at how bad he is at directions. But give him a compass and some coordinates, he'd probably beat me all damn day. I, you kill my deer. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't let it go, huh? I'm not going to let why, it why, go. Why, why you got to hold on to old stuff, man? Why you got to hold on to old Cause stuff? Because it was four hours ago. <laughs> Next up, you got a little packet here. This is just a little eating utensils. Uh, it actually, you kind of pinch it and it kind of unsnaps from each other. That's neat. And it's just, a, it's just a real simple way. There's nothing fancy about them. They're real cheap, but it's a cool way to keep all these connected and keep them from just clinking around in your bag. We got another flashlight. This is a lower end flashlight. This is just a plain Jane something. I, I mean, just throw it in a camp bag or something. Uh, this is going to use D batteries, isn't it? Yeah, D batteries. Nobody wants to buy D batteries. D batteries are too expensive. I don't. C batteries are worse, though. C 
batteries are the worst. C batteries are the most expensive batteries I've ever seen. Uh, mini patches from Tenacious uh, Tenacious Tape Gear Aid. These are going to be ways to patch like your different jackets, vinyl, uh, maybe like a tent. You little get a little rip in your tent. Uh, these are just little tape patches that you can put on there to quick fix. Poncho emergency blanket. Here you're going to have a five piece cooking set from Stan Sport. Uh, you got a little pan, a bowl, and a little pot. Little thing, it's all in one. Bar of soap carrier. Uh, Pro Cleaner Revive X from Gear Aid. Improves performance, cleans jackets and gear. Removes dirt and restores breathability, water repellent, repellency, and warmth, and waterproof breathable outerwear. Cleans tents and sleeping bags. Okay, I got it now. Next up is a rechargeable LED light from Gear Aid. I like this. Chad's going. See, I was depressed. Chad's going to be depressed too. <laughs> All right, you have a bag. Oh, I like that. This has one of those little quarter inch screw points there, mounts to a tripod. Uh, if you have like me with my camera equipment and whatnot, this will actually be something that I could use for lighting my videos, especially at night. So you have different settings. You have like a flash on, brighter, brighter. So I really like that. I will definitely use that. If oh, you've watched the channel before, you've seen these Boss Survival uh, kits. <laughs> this is a 127 piece fishing and hunting kit. Uh, there's just so much stuff on here. I'm gonna do this up here. And you can pause as you see fit and read it on your own because I ain't got time for that. This is a lower end survivor filter, water filter, like one that I received recently. The one I received recently was more higher end and it was like a rechargeable, I believe it was, uh, water filter. But it's along the same purposes. This one actually has a little hand pump on it. The other one did it electronically. So... Uh, it comes with a hose you can put it in it goes through some sort of charcoal filter or whatever they do different ways uh, uses epa drinking water standards so basically you stick it in dirty water pump it it goes through here filters it and you can drink it uh here you're gonna have an adventure dome tent uh i'm not setting this up i think you can get what a dome tent is this is a glow tube this will Basically, the sun will activate it and then it becomes a glow, oh. glow light, more or less. Not like super bright, but it will give you some light. Oh, it's more than one used to. Yeah, and yeah, you don't have to worry about Crack cracking it and then only using it one time. You got a survival whistle, some cordage, polycord, white, 100 pound weight capacity, 50 feet, and a little compact med kit, first aid kit, uh, lightweight. Contains an assortment of 27 first aid essentials. You don't want to read that. It's just band-aids and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Some little ointments, what have you. Uh, pretty excited about this. This is a camping, backpacking, sleep, sleeping pad. So, now listen, I'm, I'm big. This ain't gonna do me a lot of good. I mean, it's like a quarter inch thick. So, but it's better than laying on the hard ass ground. So it'll be coming in real handy when you're sleeping in your stand. Oh yeah, because I slept in my stand this morning. But didn't even hear my shot. I did not hear a shot. He's like, did in all fairness, I've only got six hours over the last two days of sleep. Right there with you. Yeah, you're freaking nature. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> all right, here you have a two pound sleeping bag, uh, 75 inches long, 33 inches wide. Uh, sleeping bag. There's leaves. The leaves are falling, people. And last in the box, I think, I think, unless something's hidden, is a gun bag from Red Rock. This thing is not bad. This is pretty nice, actually. I like that. Great for an AR. It feels good. It's going to be great for an AR or the 300. Oh, yeah, yeah. Out. You have heavy-duty zippers. Might want to use some. Zipper lube. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to use some zipper lube. Uh, that was actually really funny. <laughs> all right. You just can't go under all the crap you piled over there where it is. This is pretty cool. I like this a lot. You have a lot of molly webbing here and hook and loop here. 
and then you got Maui on both sides. So this thing is built to where you can add some AR mag pouch carriers, Maui attachments, stuff like that. Um, what do you got inside here? It's a single. I think okay, so. This is a single carrier, but it's very well padded. You know, for basic. I mean, it ain't no five hundred dollar. Nah, but it, it, it's perfect though. But yeah, I mean, it's gonna be perfect for something that can I can go use for. Hunting? You can carry those in. Yeah, carry those definitely ones. easier to carry something like this in than to be fighting hard cases. Yeah, hard cases and whatnot. So, all right, that is this still to real. Uh, to me, what do you think? Three ninety nine. Man, I I don't think it's bad. Um, to me, it looks like. If you were to order this box and you were like, I want to go hiking for three days, yeah. you could put everything in, well, 75% of this gear in that backpack that you got and you could go. All yeah. you need is a couple of propane bottles and a, a propane bottle and um, a little cook stove. A cook stove. That's what they missed out on. Well, I mean, and that's if, and that's they could have got a little pocket stove though. Yeah. If they but, were throwing a little pocket stove in here, you got everything you need. I mean, you can kill some little game. You got thing. you can take some eggs with you. You Fish. got. All this little stuff, you got little pans to cook in, you got stuff to sleep in, you got something to carry your gun in. Yeah. A tent. A tent. I mean, to me, it's like you order this, and then, like, you know, when we go camping, we're like, oh, man, I wish I'd have picked this up at Walmart, or yeah. I wish I would have got that. You get this box, and I'd say 90% of it's in this box. Yeah. This is a good little box, man. I think it's an all-in-one kind of package. Yeah. It's like, I mean, we're going to open up another one, and, uh, We'll see, is it something that you would need to get multiple times? So uh, go ahead and go watch that video whenever it comes out. Should be out shortly after this one. Um, but as far as right now, I like it. I'm, I'm a go on it. I, I think that you got some good quality tools, and then you got a lot of this little knickknack stuff that's really going to come in useful. Yeah, like so, I said, and for just from my point of view like I keep saying is like I said there's always that stuff like that you go camping and you're like man this ground's hard so you don't yeah. think about it on the next one you're going to get a pad for the next camping trip yeah and this thing's really really light yeah. like I mean it's like it's like super light like no weight to it at all it'd be yeah. really not a bad addition to your pack uh but that's it that's all I got for you tell me what you like tell me what you didn't in the comments below like, share, comment, all that fun stuff, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm out.